Do you know a great way to make your editor happy? Well, watch this video and find out. Welcome to Video Basics, the show that generalizes video making. I'm your host, Saito Ninja. When I was editing the first episode of Video Basics, I came across one major problem. I couldn't tell which clip was which, so I got myself a clapper. But I needed to modify it, and that's what this video is about. Modifying a clapper to fit your needs. So let's get started! This project is going to cost you less than $10, and here's what you're going to need. A cheap clapper, mine costs about 7 bucks, plus it came with a little kid's book. Clear plastic sheet protectors, $1. White paper or cardstock, $5, but you should already have. Dry erasable markers, $1.25. Scissors, already have. A printer, already have. Hot glue gun, already have. A ruler. Already have. And a vacuum food saver! Hey, that's my line! <laughs> First, measure the inside of the board and take the measurements to the plastic sheet protectors. Next, take the plastic sheet protectors, mark where they need to be cut, but leave two edges already sealed. You want to make sure you leave one inch above the line where you want it to be sealed when you cut, like I have in this picture. Take it to your vacuum food saver and try to seal it on the line you want it. This may take a few tries. Then cut off the excess. Take the measurements of the inside of the plastic bag you just made and, and take it to your computer and make a slate. Or you can just go onto my Demon Art page and resize and print off this simple clapper template. Print it out, cut off the excess, and slide it in. <laughs> well, there you have it a customized clapper or production slate. And the best thing about this modification is that you can interchange the card to fit your needs. So now we have our clapper, how do we use it? Blanken, what are you doing here? Well, Indy Mogo had their puppets. So what? Backyard effects is over. Just get on with the video. <sighs> Fine. The clapper is what Food Network star and Alton Brown were called a multitasker, which means it does more than one job, and hence the two names. Clapper board and production slate. The sound that the clapper makes is to help with syncing the audio and the video together. And the slate job is to identify each scene. Have the slate be in front of your camera before and shortly after you hit the record button for each take. Okay, so you can use some loose slate paper, but where's the fun in that? And besides, the clapper is much cooler and much more professional. Well, either way, your editor will thank you. Or they just get pissed off at you whenever you don't use a slate. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. Catch you guys next time, right here on Video Basics. <laughs> what did you do? Uh...